Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to Azure AI Agents playlist. Please watch before videos uh, because all the videos are in sequence order. If you miss them, if you are directly watching this video, there are high chances that you might be not understanding it. If you are already comfortable with AI agent concepts, then you can directly watch this video too. So let's discuss about implementing multi-agent solution using connected agents future which is available in AI Foundry. So before this video, that means the past video, we have discussed about implementing the multi-agent solution using something called agent group chart inside the semantic kernel. But this time, there is a future called connected agents. So with that future, which is available in AI Foundry, we are going to implement the multi-agent solution. Okay. So let's understand this. Uh, first, for a few minutes, I will be going through the theory part. Then I will be showing you by practically running the code too. So firstly, uh, using these connected agents, what will happen? Uh, you can uh, basically, you will delegate the work to the sub-agents. So the architecture of the connected, connected agents goes something this way. If I go to whiteboard, so let's assume you have an example where whenever any ticket comes, whenever any ticket comes, uh, you need to set the priority of the ticket, uh, maybe severity 1, severity 2, something like that. And also you, you need to assign the ticket to the respective team, like which team has to work on a ticket. And also you need to uh, estimate the efforts needed for the ticket to resolve. So assume these are all the three different tasks you want to perform whenever any uh, ticket comes into your system. So you wanted to make sure to keep this via agent. You don't want to keep a manual uh, process of a physical team sitting there and doing all the three all these three jobs. So how to accomplish this with a multi-agent solution? So in multi-agent solution, what you have to do it is, uh, especially in this connected agent future, you need to create a three uh, uh, agents. For example, to calculate a priority, there is a agent one. To assign the ticket to the some team, agent two. Then to calculate the efforts, agent three. So let's assume you have these three agents. Now these three agents has to work together to accomplish the whole task. Whenever a ticket comes, all these three agents has to work on their respective task and finish the job. So to, to accomplish this, we need multi-agent solution, right? This, this you know from my previous video too. But how to accomplish this multi-agent solution in this scenario? Using connected agents, let's explore it. In connected, uh, for a quick recap, if you want to accomplish the multi-agent solution using a semantic kernel, then what you do, as I discussed in my previous video, you will create something called agent group chart. And in that agent to group chart, you will add all these three agents. And also you will define the strategy of selection, how the agents should get select. And also a termination strategy, when to terminate. So you need to custom define the whole flow, how the flow should go and how the routing should happen from one agent to another agent. So all these things you have to define it there. But when you use a connected agents, when you use the connected agents, which I'm going to discuss in this video, you no need to do that uh, hard coding, that manual routing process and everything. You have to clearly give the instructions to the agents and the agents will figure it out. Our connected agents future will figure it out how to call which agent and when to call and accordingly the task will get finished. So to if this is confusing, in connected agent system, what you will be having something called a, a main agent. So there will be something called a main agent. Uh, human in loop will be always connected with the main agent. This main agent will backend connect connects with your all sub agents. In this case, priority agent. Okay. And also team assignment agent. Okay. And also efforts calculation agent. So you will be having something called a main agent that will take the task. It will take the task and it will understand the task and it will give the sub task to each agent accordingly what they have to perform. Okay. So 
in in the case of this ticketing mechanism we can call this main agent as a triage agent so i will be creating a triage agent on top of this specific task related agents like priority agent team assignment agent efforts agent and then this uh, this triage agent will take care of uh, understanding the user input and routing the request according to the agents and make sure the task gets completed so if i go back to my one note uh, i have explained all these things in a textual format here uh, so connected agents are a feature in ai foundry service which allow to break the large task into the smaller task and the smaller task means the sub agents okay and as i said in the multi agent solution with the connected agents you you will be having something called a main agent uh, and then you will be having something called connected agents so that main agent will take the task and route the task to the sub agents and how this whole thing will happen in a in a programmatic way right the flow will be so firstly uh, all these things are in a azure ai foundry so i hope you know that from my previous video of ai foundry agent so firstly for the ai foundry project what you have you need to create a client object once you have that you can use the create agent method to create a agent for example priority agent team assignment agent effort calculation agent so create three sub agents using the create agent method and then for every agent create connect connected agent tool so connected agent tool means maybe the sub agent for example priority agent what it does exactly that's all will be defined in a uh, connected agent tool so three agents three sub agents and three tools for them then again use the create agent method to create the main agent or the triage agent and then use the tools property on it and add all the three tools whatever you created before for the sub agents so that's it with that your uh, multi agent solution creation done then you can create a message thread you can create a thread to start the conversation and you can run that thread uh, you can see how the response is coming back and finally you can handle the results back okay so this is how the whole thing will work so let's understand this practically now i have already written code for it i will share you the code in the video description also what i will be doing it is i will give you one link also where a similar example discussed in the azure documentation too you can follow that exercise link also which i will be providing in a video description so right now if you are seeing my visual studio code so here i have a couple of files so let me explain it from here so if you see here uh, this is my folder uh, or my project folder assume that way so Uh, there is something called .env file uh, where i will provide the environment configurations this you know it from my previous video so my ai foundry project endpoint and also my ai foundry model name like which llm i am going to use so that information will be in the .env file then ignore this this file for now okay so no, no need to consider that file and there is something called requirements.txt file in which i have added the packages needed for my uh, agent to work right so i need couple of pa packages for my agent to work obviously so i added them i will come to i will open the file and show and this agent triage chart file if you see there right that file is actually the actual code where i am creating agents and i am creating connected tools for those agents and i am creating a main agent or a triage agent and everything okay that is my main and if you see that my env file folder this is my virtual environment where my code is running okay so with this understanding so let me clear the terminal and uh, let me mi minimize this file explorer and if if i see this uh, requirements.txt file basically i need this python.env because i want to take the files from the .env file and also i need uh, azure ai projects because the agents what i create they will host in the azure ai foundry so i need a object to play with the ai foundry project and i need azure identity because i i have to authenticate myself first and then uh, do that uh, uh, project client object creation and and everything okay so if i go back to my 
main file where I have written a code. Uh, firstly, let me go to the .env file. You see, this is my Azure AI Foundry project, and this is the model name. To show you that in a browser, so if I go to the AI Foundry, when I go to the agents, right now there are no agents. If you see, there is one default agent came with the AI Foundry, but I don't have any priority team assignment effort calculation agents there yet. Uh, and if I go to the overview in AI Foundry, you see my project name is first project, and the URL of my project is available here. So I have taken the URL and stored in the environment file here and also the model LLM model watch I am going to use. So models plus endpoints. You see the model name here this column take that value. So once you have your .env file ready if I go back to my uh, main file uh, I have imported those connected agent tools agents client object because using which you will actually interact with the AI Foundry and create an agent. Uh, so here I am clearing a console basically and load.env func function will make sure to read all the key values from the .env file and we are storing the project endpoint model name into the variables. Then as I said I will be having a three agents priority agent. So these are like a strings variables. Uh, priority agent name what is the agent name actually. Priority agent instruction the instruction part. So access how urgent the ticket is based on a description response with the following levels high medium low and uh, uh, there is a slight description about every level. So nothing fancy I am creating a basic priority agent and I hard coded directly within the instruction what it has to do uh, how it has to do. So there is nothing like I create a plugin or a tool separately for this particular agent and connect. So I haven't written any code for this particular um, agent behavior as a tool. I directly provided the instructions there. So based upon instruction it will give either high, medium or a low priority. Then the team agent where it will assign the agent to the certain team. So again I said okay between these teams only choose the team blah 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 right. So basically that means I am directly providing instruction only it's like a basic uh, basic agent nothing fancy. I haven't created any tool for this one as well. And effort agent same thing. So within the instruction I am explaining small, medium, large that is the effort grouping you have to do based upon certain logic and to give the result back. So three basic agents fine and these basic agents I am going to create and, I am, and these agents will do the priority set, team assignment and effort calculation. Finally a triage agent the main agent which will actually interact with a human and take the instructions and accordingly get the multi agent flow run. So I am giving that is that like triage agent instructions and I clearly mention the instruction that triage the given ticket use the connected tools to determine the tickets priority which team should assign to and how much effort is in time. So that is the instruction for my priority agent uh, or sorry for my triage agent uh, basically I am telling it to choose the right tool to execute certain task. So finally uh, I am creating a agent client object. So for that there is something called agents client class where I am passing my project endpoint and I am using a default credential to authenticate myself. So in my local if I go to the command prompt and if I say az account show in my local I have already connected my Azure account with my subscription. Okay. So since I have already connected it this default correction will make it uh, true that means uh, uh, yes you have authentication. Uh, from the Azure CLI it will tell that part and uh, finally this agent client object will get created. Then with that object I am using a create agent method to create the agents. So firstly I am creating a priority agent. So model name I give agent name uh, and also instructions instructions of the agent which I have hard coded in the variables above. So once I create this priority agent I am creating something called a connected agent tool for that where I mention it using connected agent tool class uh, there is something called a name property mention the property of the name uh, sorry na name name priority uh, uh, sorry so there is something called a name where I have to define the priority uh, basically the agent name okay so in this case priority agent so I am I am giving the agent name here uh, and then I am telling okay this agent is to set the priority so that's it this is the connected tool. So create an agent then create a connected tool. 
again create a team assignment agent create a connected tool again create the effort agent create the connected tool finally once you have all these three sub agents ready along with their tools uh, you will create a main agent using the same create agent method you will name it like a triage agent deployment instructions and in the tools i have added that all the sub agents as a tools to the main agent so that main agent will understand the ask and route the request according to the sub agents so finally uh, i am just creating a thread on the agent decline object uh, because thread holds all the conversation in a stateful manner if user enters quit or exit it will see it will close it so here in the loop what i am doing i am using a input function to take the input from the user okay and that will come here uh, if the input is quit exit or a buy then i am closing the session in the terminal otherwise process will continue and i am creating a message object uh, based upon a prompt why what i enter and that message object if you see here uh, i am running that message object here uh, sorry so this message object got added into the thread so via the thread i am running it so using that run agent client dot run so that means it will start the conversation and based upon a run status if it is failure fine otherwise uh, get the last message what happened uh, from the agent and reply that and and when you are replying it print like this agent greater than then agent's response so finally cleaning up all the agents what we create there so this is the code now i am opening a new terminal here i will try to run this so what i will be doing it here is so let me activate my uh, uh, virtual environment here so if you have seen my previous videos you know what is that virtual environment how to activate it okay so please watch them and here what i am going to do it is i am going to use python space agent triage chart dot py file so let me run this so this will create three agents in my foundry and it will create a connected tools and finally these three agents connected tools will be connected with a main agent so all that things happened already to make that sense here go to your a foundry go to agents menu and uh, if i you see all the triage agent effort agent team agent priority agent everything came there now i will enter some question here so i will say uh, some ticket right user is so let me remove this and type one ticket information and let's see user user is not able to reset their password in mobile app so that is the question i have entered uh, from the user prompt now the triage agent will come into picture and take that and interpret it and accordingly execute the subsequent task so let's wait for the execution to complete here you see here uh, the triage agent responded back and uh, you see in firstly the priority agent get called and it set the priority high then assignment team i think that that's happened that means uh, team assignment agent got called and it assigned the ticket to the front end then effort estimation agent also get called and it gave a like a medium size of effort needed that means 2 to 3 days of work to close that ticket so that's it so that means i am able to make the multi agent call but not using the uh, semantic kernel agent group functionality this is why connected agents feature which is available in azure ai foundry so i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.